Sorry, Ram, everyone. So let's start with our political science and the same lesson that is working of institutions. Okay, we'll continue with this lesson. Children, in the last class, we started with our political institution, right? We started with parliament, which is a political institution. What we studied? I'll just brush up. We studied that parliament, that is laws are made in the parliament. Right? Second, parliament controls those who run government. Parliament also controls all money matters that government have. Parliament is the highest forum of discussions, debates are carried out. This discussion and debates are on public issues as well as on national policies. So, Parliament is very important political institution. Okay, this all we studied in the last class. Now let's continue. We will study today a new topic. That is two houses of Parliament. Two houses of Parliament. Okay. Now we all know that Parliament plays an important role in most of the democracies of the world. Right? What many large countries have done is they have divided the role and also power of Parliament into two parts. These parts of the Parliament are called chambers or houses. Okay? Let us talk about these two parts. Here, the members of one house, I'm talking about the Parliament. Okay? We will talk about the two parts of the Parliament. The members of the one house are directly elected. Elected by whom? By the people. And this house exercises the real power on behalf of the people. Why on behalf of the people? Because it is the people who elect them. Whereas the members of the second house are usually indirectly elected by the MLAs. The members of the second house, they are indirectly elected okay, by MLAs. We will talk about this. Now, <clears throat> the second house performs some special function. The most common work of the second house is to look after the interests of states, region or federal units or you can say um, you know, federal regions, federal states. Okay, this is the work of the second house. Now children, let us talk about the parliament of our country. Now, our parliament, I'm talking about our country, Indian parliament, consists of two houses. Okay? Two houses. It is also divided into two parts. That is two houses. These two houses 
are known as Council of States, that is the Rajya Sabha, and the other is known as Lok Sabha, the House of the People. So, what are the two different houses? Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Okay? Yeah, our president also plays an important role in parliament. Yes. Our president is also part of the parliament. But remember, the president is the part of the parliament. But president is not member of either house. Both the house is not the member of Lok Sabha nor he is the member of Rajya Sabha. Getting me? But he is the part of parliament. That is the reason all the laws are made in the houses and they come into force or implemented. And when they are implemented, only and only after these laws receive assent or you can say approval from the president. Like getting me? Approval from the president. Now, children, in the earlier class, right from uh, your uh, fifth, sixth standard, okay, we have studied about Indian parliament, right? Let us just recall the difference, the different co compositions of the two houses of the parliament, that is the Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Let us see, just a recap, I know, I'm sure you all know this. Yeah, children, look at this. Just a recap of what you know. I'm sure you all know this. Okay, now, uh, we are talking about Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. We'll just uh, compare with the houses. Okay, now the members of Lok Sabha are directly elected by the eligible voters. That is, we people. We elect the members of Lok Sabha. Am I right? And <coughs> Rajya Sabha, the members of Rajya Sabha are elected by the members of State Legislative Assembly. Now, State Legislative Assembly is the, are called, the members of the State Legislative Assembly are called as MLA. That is members of legislative assembly. Right now, they are elected at the state level. Every state ha have their own election, right? Now, what the, what this MLS do? They elect. They elect MPs. MPs is member of parliament from their state. Okay, say from Maharashtra, ten M uh, MPs are uh, selected. And who are is going to select that? MLS. Those MLS. Those MLS who are elected by people. They select the MPs. And this MPs become the member of Rajya Sabha. Is that okay? Yeah. So it is called that the members of Rajya Sabha are indirectly elected. Okay. People don't elect them. But indirectly that is the People elect the MLAs and these MLAs, they, are, they elect the members of parliament, that is member of Rajya Sabha. So it is said that the members of Rajya Sabha is indirectly elected. They are indirectly elected. Okay, <clears throat> now the time period. The period of Lok Sabha is five years. Right? After every five years... Elections are held. New government is formed. Old government is dissolved. Right now? So it is not a permanent body. Lok Sabha is not a permanent body. Is it is it is it is for the, it works for the term of five years. Whereas 
राज्यसभा ओके राज्यसभा इज अ परमनंट बॉडी इट इज नेवर डिजोल्व इट इज फॉर द टर्म ऑफ सिक्स इयर नो वेन आई से परमनंट बॉडी मीन्स वॉट चिल्ड्रेन आफ्टर एवरी टू इयर्स वन ऑफ इट्स मेंबर्स रिटायर and new one third mem- uh, members are elected for rajya sabha next two years the other one third members are they retire and new one third members are elected like so, getting me so it never gets dissolved okay now the maximum strength is 552 actually it is uh, 500 Uh, 52 right but uh, you know 543 plus 2 because uh, this uh, two members are they are the ones who are nominated by the president they are the anglo indians right <coughs> what about lok sabha the members of lok sabha cannot exceed more than 250 members it can be less than 250 it cannot exceed 250 okay and here also 12 members are nominated by the president now who are these 12 members they are from different fields like sports sports film industry music uh, you can say music uh, or any art okay so they belong to different fields sachin tendulkar he is the member of parliament right now rekha she is also the member of parliament okay so the maximum strength of lok sabha is 552 whereas that of rajya sabha is not more than 250 it can be around 245 anyway 12 members are nominated by the president in rajya sabha and two in the lok sabha children money bill can be introduced only in lok sabha okay it is lok sabha that grants the money for running the administration of the country and rajya sabha does not exercise much power over money bills yes okay all money bills are tackled by lok sabha rajya sabha has no power okay related to the money bills more lok sabha is more power than rajya sabha and raj uh, rajya sabha is less powerful than the lok sabha i'm sure you all know this okay so let's move further now children one more thing i wanted to tell you is that rajya sabha is also called as Uh, upper house or upper chamber don't have the uh, you know don't think that like it is called upper house rajya sabha is called upper house so uh, rajya sabha is more powerful i have told you this rajya sabha is called upper house or upper chamber L- uh, lok sabha is called as a lower house or lower chamber but it does not mean that rajya sabha is more powerful than the lok sabha not at all okay children in fact the upper house and lower house these terms we are using the lok sabha and rajya sabha is called as upper house and uh, lower house okay is just an uh, you can say old style of speaking okay and not the language that is used by our constitution am i am i uh, clear now our constitution has given rajya sabha some very special powers powers over the state i did tell you this but lok sabha exercises supreme power upper hand on most of the matters of the country okay let us see 
how how lok sabha is more powerful here than the rajya sabha first we all know okay how a bill becomes a law and how it is implemented a law is straight away not introduced or implement to the people okay it is and it is it has to undergo some process some rules and regulations are there any changes okay so you can say first okay any ordinary law okay needs to be approved or passed sanction by both the houses lok sabha also and rajya sabha also but if um say if there is difference of opinion between the two houses regarding any law okay then the final decision is taken okay in a joint session okay this joint session comprises of the members of both the houses i'll just elaborate on this uh, say a law is approved in lok sabha but it did not get majority approval in rajya sabha in such situation the members of both the houses okay lok sabha and rajya sabha they are called together in a joint session and then there the final decision is taken now here here we know advantage who is at advantage lok sabha i'll tell you why see we know the number of members of lok sabha is more than rajya sabha am i right so this is a big advantage to lok sabha okay or their view is likely to prevail in such joint meeting joint session they are only going to get the majority in such joint session because their number is more secondly in money matters look at the monitor secondly in money matters lok sabha exercises more power than rajya sabha once lok sabha passes the budget budget of the government or any money related law rajya sabha cannot reject it yes rajya sabha cannot re reject it at the most what can rajya sabha do they can surely uh, delay it from just 14 days they can delay this law they can uh, delay this budget from 14 for 14 days next 14 days or they can suggest some uh, changes to be brought about they can suggest some changes in it but again they just can suggest changes but cannot change if changes are to be brought out it can be brought only by lok sabha it depends on lok sabha okay not rajya sabha it depends on lok sabha whether to accept or not to accept the changes suggested by the rajya sabha now the third one this is more important point children the lok sabha it controls the council of ministers okay only one person who enjoys the support of the majority of the members in the lok sabha is appointed as the prime minister okay he a uh, one who wants to be the prime minister the maman member he should have the support majority he should get the majority of lok sabha members okay now here also if the majority of lok sabha members say uh, they have um, no confidence in the council of ministers okay all these ministers see how powerful is lok sabha if they have no confidence in the council of minister all the ministers of that particular uh, those of from the government along with the prime minister they have to quit but the rajya sabha 
he does not have this power okay rajya sabha does not have this power now did you understand why we need this two houses rajya sabha reflects a federal character right by representing the units of the union and lok sabha represents the spirit of people right now and both the houses play the role in the matters of legislation children with this we will stop over here we'll continue with our lesson in the next class thank you